Today was fantastic. It did not go at all like I was planning it to go because I was actually supposed to put in a hardwood floor at, at my parents' house, um, hopefully make a little money that I haven't been making in a very long time. It turns out they did not have the wood ready, so <laughs> didn't do that. But I did get to go to Ecclesia and I just wrote like most of the day. Wrote and then I worked on the website. So. Exciting news, the website is almost, I almost got it to where I like it. So then the t-shirts are gonna start going on the website and then we can start ordering t-shirts from the website and not just myself running it to people. That way people actually might get their t-shirts because that would be awesome. What most of my writing consisted of today was refining my wording on accountability. So a huge part of accountability is like I was saying Eric and I are starting to do like our individual actions or habits that we're taking every single day. So like mine, the push-ups and the prayer and the meditation, those are what Eric and I used to call walls and those are like defenses that we set up that help limit or like help slow down temptations because if we have all of those all three of those walls set and they're strong and I'm doing them every I'm doing those habits every single day then I'm built up and I'm stronger I'm less likely to fall to sin so essentially we like have this flame that is like our relationship with Christ our love our burning passion for Christ and like these walls help that flame stay ablaze and stay on fire and that's a great way to explain what a good accountability partner does. What they do is they make sure that your walls are strong and they stay up. This thing keeps moving. But over time, Eric and I have been thinking about calling them, oh my, okay, yep. No, just do that whenever you want. You're finished. And after a while, Eric and I didn't really like the thought of like building walls around your flame, around your love for Christ. We thought there was a better analogy. And what I fell in love with and what I actually wrote about today was comparing coyotes to the demons. And then of course your fire to just like a campfire. So if you're camping and you have like a big campfire, coyotes are not gonna come by it. Coyotes are afraid of fire. And so, the fact that you have a huge fire throughout the entire night, coyotes are not gonna come. It's when you let your fire die down and you don't throw enough logs on it, that's when the coyotes will start getting closer and closer and closer. Same thing with, and I love comparing that to your fire with Christ. So the logs, the logs you're throwing on your fire are your habits. They're your fuel. So like every cold shower you take, you're fueling your fire, you're throwing a stick on your fire. Every time you skip your dessert, you're throwing something on your fire. Every time you fast for a period of time, you're throwing an extra log on the fire. And that fire is just getting bigger and bigger. The reason I love this analogy so much is because you're not building walls around your fire to where no one can see it. You're throwing logs on your fire in an open field and it, the larger the fire gets, the more light it puts out and the more people are attracted to it and they are affected by the light of Christ inside of you. And another reason that I think it's important to have this imagery in your head is because it can get monotonous. It can get just like, feels like you're going through the motions when you're disciplining yourself over and over and over again and you don't really see any benefit because that can happen. It's always good to go back to this imagery because every time you discipline yourself, you're growing, you're building that fire. This super helps me in the morning when I'm like still kind of cold and I'm just like, I don't want to take this shower but I just have to picture this of the flame, of throwing a log on the flame, and I have to be like, I'm getting better. Christ is 
building me up through this cold shower. Christ is helping me through this cold shower. In the end, I'm gonna be closer to him because I'm turning to him to help me endure this cold shower. Even though you could be like, hey, is taking a cold shower really getting you closer to Christ? As long as you're giving it to him, you're giving that cold shower to him, it's for him, then yes, you are getting closer to God through that cold shower. Every time you decide to discipline yourself or you give something up for Christ, just remind yourself, that's another log on the fire. You're getting better. Christ is working through you and building that flame. Peace out.